Hey guys, welcome back. Brie here from Brie Beers and Associates. And today I'm going to talk to those of you out there who are looking to get your second round of PPP. We're going to talk about how you qualify, how you have to spend the money, and how you go about applying for those loans. If you haven't yet taken a first PPP, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video that we've got linked for you. For the rest of you, let's talk about how you can get that second PPP loan. Before we jump in, quick disclaimer, we are recording this on January 30th, 2021. So if you are watching this down the road, make sure that there's not a more updated video out there for you because things are changing all the time. So let's start by talking about who can get a second round PPP loan under the new Economic Aid Act. So all of the same rules apply to the second round of PPP borrowing that applied to the first round. Meaning, those of you that have W-2 employees gotta have less than 500 in order to qualify. If you're a sole proprietor, single member LLC, any sort of Schedule C business, you can also apply for a second round of PPP. My partnerships can apply. And finally, just like in the first round, all borrowers do have to certify that they have been negatively impacted by coronavirus. However, there is an additional requirement when you're going to get your second round of PPP. And that's that you have to prove that you had a 25% or more decrease in your revenue in 2020 versus 2019. So how do you figure that out? I would start by looking at your full year. So if you look at your full 2020 year and you compare it to 2019, if you see that 25% decrease, you can check that box. However, even if you don't have a decrease for your full year, the SBA is allowing you to look quarter by quarter. And as long as one quarter of 2020 shows less receipts or less revenue than that same quarter in 2020, you're gonna qualify. And finally, you do have to have spent all of your first round of PPP funds before you can qualify to apply for a second round. It's important to note here, you guys, you do not have to have applied for forgiveness on your first loan yet. You just have to have spent all the money. All right, that's really important because we have banks that are right now saying you have to have applied for forgiveness and that's not the case. So it's really important to know you just had to have spent the money. So now we wanna talk about when can you apply for your second round of PPP? The answer is right now. Applications actually opened January 11th and depending on your bank, they've slowly been rolling out from the smaller regional banks to the bigger banks. As of again, today is January 30th. Um, most of the banks are accepting apps. They're good to go. We are still waiting for the vendors such as QuickBooks, PayPal, and maybe even Bluevine to open up their portals, but that should be coming soon. The deadline to apply per the Economic Aid Act is March 31st of this year. However, we do want to keep an eye on those funds because if they run out before March 31st, well then, can't apply anymore. It's important to note again, as of today, 35 billion out of the 280 plus billion dollars in PPP allocated funds have been lent out. So it's still a very small fraction. There's still a lot of money out there left for you guys. So the next thing we wanna to touch on is how much money can you get in this second round of PPP? Similar to your first round, you guys, for most of the businesses out there, it's gonna be two and a half months worth of payroll. You can now base this off 2020, or you can continue to base it off 2019. This is gonna be based off the W-2s that you paid out to your employees. If you're a Schedule C, this is gonna be based off of your Schedule C line 31 profit. And if you're a partnership, it's going to be based off your net profit. You're gonna take whichever number applies to you, you're gonna divide it by 12 months and multiply it by two and a half to get that two and a half months payroll loan amount. It's also important to note, guys, if you're a restaurant, meaning you have an NAICS code of 72, that's on your tax return, then you can actually apply for three and a half months worth of payroll. So last but not least, we want to talk about how you apply. And we've actually broken this into three simple steps that you can follow. Step one, you want to find a bank that will process your loan. This is your second round, so likely you're gonna be able to go right back to the bank that you borrowed your first round of PPP from. 
If for some reason they're not lending out or they're not yet accepting applications, I would suggest looking at some of the smaller, more regional banks in your area and seeing if they can help you. Otherwise, you're gonna wanna just wait for QuickBooks or Bluevine or PayPal to open up their portals, which should be really, really soon. So after you've found a bank that you can work with, step two is to fill out your application. This is going to look different depending on your bank. Most banks have an online portal that you're gonna be able to fill the application out and submit all your documentation. We'll talk about that documentation in just a second. There are some banks that are still having you manually fill out the SBA loan application. So just figure out which process your bank is using. So for the supporting documentation, you guys, this is varying a little bit from bank to bank. So we'll start with what every bank is requiring and then I'll add on what some of the banks are requesting that isn't necessarily required, but could be required by your bank. So every application is going to require that you submit proof of how much you're borrowing. That means submitting your W-2s or submitting a copy of your Schedule C or a schedule of your partnership return for whichever year you're basing your PPP loan amount on. In addition to that, because there's this 25% decrease in revenue piece that's added to the second round, many banks are requesting that you prove that up front. So from the SPA point of view, you guys, only loans over $150,000 have to prove that 25% decrease in receipts before the loan is approved. Everyone else just has to submit that proof of decrease when they apply for forgiveness. However, we're finding a lot of banks wanna make sure they're covering their own butts, so they are actually requesting that proof of 25% decrease to revenue up front when you apply for your second round of PPP. So once you've submitted your application with all of your requested supporting documentation, step three is just to wait, but also to make sure you're communicating with your bank. So we're finding that from the time your bank submits it to the SBA till the time you get loan documentations, it's only taking anywhere from one to three business days. From there, once you sign those loan documents, some people are getting funded as early as the next day. So if you have already applied and you've waited more than about a week, I would reach out to your bank because there's a good chance there's something in that beginning portion of approval that's holding up your application. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, go ahead and leave a comment below. And then I highly, highly suggest you head on over to our Facebook community, Money, Taxes, and Finance for Small Business, because these topics are what we talk about on a regular basis and have live trainings on every week. You can access that group by clicking the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and while you're loving on me hard, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video.